Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial we're going to take a look at Moogle X Element Booster plugin. So this is a useful plugin, and uh, the reason why I needed to use this plugin is because if you were following along with my uh, Let's Make a Game series, or even on one of my other tutorials, I uh, show you how to use Action Strengthen plugin, but I've noticed some uh, conflicting issues with other plugins. And I have a lot of plugins running, so you may not encounter this issue, but I can't use the Victor Engine Action Strengthen because I, it, it's conflicting with something and causing crashes. But I created this thing called Potency that's going to increase the, the strength of certain elements, and I didn't really want to take that out, so I was searching around, and I found a, a plugin that works similar. So this is Moogle X Element Boost, and uh, it's a really simple to use plugin. You basically, you can just copy paste these uh, no tags right here and the first number is going to be the element and the second number is going to be the percentage change so if you put 100% it'll be no change but if you put it over 100% it's going to give a boost now what's cool about this plugin is it has a stacking it's got different like modes and you can use uh, toggle the different modes uh, right here in the parameters turning them off and on and uh, Basically, you can have them multiply each other, so you can uh, turn on the element boost and the element rate. And uh, if you want like a, a super descriptive, de you know, description of of how it all works, uh, Moogle, uh, Moogle Master breaks it all down, or Moogle breaks it all down into the the help file. So you can take a look at that. But I'm going to show you how to use it and what I use it for. So I've copied one of those uh, note tags, and I've made an item called. Uh, the hot rock which is going to add something I've called potency so it's fire potency and it's going to double the strength of a fire element so if I go to my types I can see that my element of fire is 2 so I'm going to keep that number in mind I'm going to go back to my armors on the hot rock I'm going to type in open brackets element space boost space 2 because this is fire colon and then I want it to do 200% damage so I want it to double so I'm going to put that in there and uh, let's take a look at that skill really quick that I'm going to be using. I made a tester skill. I'm going to end up deleting it. This is just to test uh, fire damage. So in the formula, I put in a, uh, exactly 100 because I want it to do 100% or just 100 damage with no variance at all. I actually don't even want it to be able to critical because it's just a tester skill. And uh, I'm going to be fighting a bat that's got no fire resistance. And this chest is a hot rock, so we can do a before and after. So let's do that really quickly. Okay, I got the hot rock, but before I equipped it, let's uh, test out this spell. Oh, I forgot to take off uh, Dark Hero. I'm working on a bard, uh, uh, some bard skills, so we'll just have to have him guard. Um, so fire should do exactly 100 damage without any element boost. Then it does. There we go, 100 damage. So we'll just dispatch these bats really quickly. Now if we put on our um, accessory that's got fire potency, well in this case element boost um, I've just uh, aliased it as fire potency now it should do an additional 100% fire damage so our fire skill that's doing 100 damage in the formula should do 200 damage exactly let's test it out there you go 200 damage so one other thing I want to uh, talk about is how you can uh, make these multiple stack so what I've done is turned on, <clears throat> where's it at? It is down here. What I've done is turned on this first one, the combined multiple element boost. So what it'll do is it'll stack them together. So if I were to take this note tag on the armor for the hot rock, this element boost to 200% and put it on, let's see, instead of making a new armor, I'm just going to put it on something that uh, he's already, Drifty's already wearing, the hard leather armor. So now his leather armor is going to have a, uh, that same boost but I didn't change the numbers at all it's just two copies of double damage so what's gonna happen now hopefully I saved it <laughs> if I put on uh, the accessory and battle it should be doing two times 200 damage so it should be doing 400 damage Let's test that out. 400 damage. So that's what's cool about uh, this plugin, and I'm definitely going to be using it uh, in my game. 
uh, that I'm working on. Lots of changes in this game. That's going to do it for this episode, uh, this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like it, um, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and continue to ask your questions and your make your suggestions and your special requests in the comments below. You guys are very important to me. Thank you guys so much for your special requests and everything. If you guys want to uh, see the next episode of Let's Make a Game, let me know because uh, I'm kind of delaying it until I get a lot, a lot of progress. But I have made uh, quite a bit of progress. Um, lots of new things have been added to the database, but I'll get, I'll get into that in a different video. So thank you guys once again for watching, and we will see you in the next tutorial.